Hi, hello, how you doing? I hope everything's okay with you. With me, I'm perfect. So guys, today we have another lesson and I'm kind of very excited to this lesson because today we are going to talk about celebrities. Yay! <laughs> and all of the this very fans and very surprise world of celebrities. So today the topic of this week is going to be celebrities, fame, famous people and fame. Let's talk about this in English in a way natural and confident. Okay, very good. So it's your lesson it's the time to study it's very important to you to put your your cell phone aside and be very focused on here okay great so let me put in my pencil here let me put in my pen here and let's go jump to this lesson okay let me put it that i divided this um this mind map in two different situations. I put it that advantages and disadvantages of being famous. And let's discuss this a little bit. Let's, uh, let's take a look for advantages first. And I have, as usual, I have too many uh, words or too many different sentences that you can use in situations um, that you have to talk about celebrities or famous people. Another thing that's very important is everything that you need is not like a supplement, you're gonna find on the other days of the week because we, we as you know, we have mind map activities, Anki, a word, a word list, a lot of things to continue improving about this topic, okay? This is just an overview of everything we're gonna learn this week. Great, let's take a look. Many opportunities arise when people become famous like if you if you are famous they say if you are famous you probably will have a lot of opportunities i don't know maybe to to go to different places without paying and to to enjoy moments without uh, be like a normal person a normal person you know so opportunities arise you know, arise when people became famous. We normally, we normally see that, right? For example, let's keep in mind that TV show called BBB, Big Brother Brazil. Uh, what do we have there? We have an anonymous person, anonymous person that became famous and then so many opportuni opportunities arise from this actor, right? When you are a person that nobody knows you, you don't have so many opportunities, but when you became famous, when your face is showing up every single day on TV, you have many more opportunities, okay? Traveling around the world. Yes, because normally, normally, usually famous people have money and they can travel around the world easily. Visit amazing places. I can say it's a kind of a consequences, right? To travel all around the road. So visit many places. Fame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some people can say that fame can be very dangerous because you can think that, oh, just because I'm famous, I can do whatever I want. And this is not that good, right? So yeah. We need to keep aware about that. Wealthy, hmm, a lot of hickeys, uh, okay? Yeah, it's another consequence. It's actually, we're talking about advantages here, right? Eating good food. Uh, I would say that sometimes more than good, uh, fancy too, right? Chicky, very fancy, very fancy food. And, one one thing that for sure it's true is that celebrities get special treatment wherever they go yes that's true they need to people people tend to treat celebrities better because they're famous because they're rich so they treat like they get a special treatment for people like 
a uh, Lady Gaga, Beyonce, Rihanna, Yvette Sangalo, and things like that. Very famous, so people tend to uh, tend to, to treat better. Okay, so these, uh, um, as you can see, these are some advantages. Do you have some disadvantages? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have because, of course, we have good sides and bad sides for everything, right? So let's take a look some of them. Uh, I put it there that being famous or a celebrity can attract stalkers. Yes. What stalkers means to Chalori is that person that follows you wherever you go that sometimes go to your social media to see what are you doing where are you and things like that so stalkers they are like follow you whatever you want whatever you go oh gossip and paparazzi paparazzi and gossip yeah another thing that it's not so good to be famous right because when people gossip about you means that they talk about your private life they talk about your body they talk about your appearance so um it's not good right when people tend to invent things about you they, they, they normally they don't say the truth they invent the lie so not good and paparazzi come on can you believe that you live in your house you're doing your thing or you're going to the beach and there's a person Took, uh, taking photographs for you all the time mm -mm. and if they take a photograph from you in a very bad angle mm -mm. no 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 it's not good so I prefer that's my personal opinion to pose for a photograph not to be you know to be uh, the photographs to be, to be taken from me without my permission that's another thing that we need to keep in mind they say that celebrity have no private life yeah it's another thing that's not so good for example everybody wants to know who you're dating uh, everybody wants to know if you are paying your employees right everybody know uh, everybody wants to know about everything in your life so if you are a celebrity you might not have a very private life people constantly judge celebrities yes they judge if you are a celebrity and you like to help people you like to work on, on charity people say that mm, you're doing that because you want to show off you want to show to the people that you're good and then you want to become more famous because of that so if you're a celebrity and you don't help many people people say that how can you do that how selfish you are you have much money how don't you help people you know so it's something that very difficult because people will judge you whatever you do so be a celebrity it's uh, almost to, to understand that judgment it's something that is gonna happen people will be judgmental with you okay uh, and another thing here a celebrity status can attract too many fake friends mm, for sure if you are uh, if you are very famous if you have so much money people people tend to get close to you and not being your your, your friend you know just because they want to took advantages from take advantages from your for your uh, healthy for your famous so celebrity need to be open your eyes you know keeping your eyes open and let's take a look some opinions here okay um, and one thing that you can you can say in English is I wish I were famous. Ai, eu gostaria de ser famoso. I wish I were famous. Mm. Oh, I wish I were famous, for example, okay? Another opinion you can say is I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, remember that would is our our area, right? I wouldn't say, eu não diria, I wouldn't say that I want to become famous. Eu não diria que eu quero ser famoso, não. I wouldn't say that I want to become famous. And, for example, being famous can be, uh, being famous can be difficult sometimes because celebrities want to be young forever. Mm, yes, 
as celebridades querem ser jovens a vida, te, a vida inteira. Forever young, I wanna be forever young. Já ouviram? Então, as celebridades querem ser a vida inteira jovens. Então, é uma coisa que, hum, you say like, hum, yeah, it's not, it's not a good thing, ok? Guys, as you can see in this lesson, I, I, I speak talk a little bit more in English than in Portuguese, but I'm gonna switch the language uh, to Portuguese, ok? Bom, eu preciso uh, que você cada vez mais se acostume com a língua inglesa. Então, por isso que principalmente nessas aulas de Mind Map, eu vou tender a partir de agora falar muito mais em inglês com você, para que você vá se acostumando. É aquela aula que você pode parar, que você pode voltar, que você pode ouvir de novo, que você pode entender o que você precisa no mind map, ele tá aqui. Então, de uma certa forma, você já entendeu, é só você ler, se você não entendeu o que eu falei. O que que eu fui falando foi ah, dando exemplos, discutindo cada tópico desse, desse. Então, é bem legal que você faça esse listening. Lembra que a gente falou que existe a, aquela pessoa que fala inglês de forma nativa, porque nasceu lá, e aquela, aquela pessoa que fala inglês como segunda, como terceira língua. Que nesse caso sou eu. Então é importante você ouvir. Ah, tô ouvindo nativo. Olha como a americana fala. Olha como o britânico fala. Mas olha como uma brasileira fala inglês. Tá? É importante que você tenha isso em mente. para que a gente possa abraçar o nosso sotaque. Entender que somos brasileiros. Que vamos ter um sotaque brasileiro sim. Graças a Deus. Mas nem por isso a gente vai deixar de falar inglês de forma confiante e natural. Beleza? Maravilha, eu vejo você na próxima aula. Se cuidem, faz o download do material, estuda, faz as suas anotações e vamos porque essa semana a gente vai fofocar sobre celebridades. Vambora! Vejo você nas próximas aulas. Bye, bye!